in the Valley of the Kings, here near Luxor, and as fate would have it, the ex-head of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, Dr. Zahia Hawass, is right there. So once again, we're just going to have a cruise around. If you didn't see, that was Dr. Zahi Hawass. Well, we got to have a photograph taken up with. So we're not going into any more tombs today. We're simply going to see, show you the exterior. So here's Ramses the first. Quite extensive. And our good friend Corby Waste is here. Hello. Greetings, world. Good. How many tombs have you been in, Corby? I think five now. Five? And this one is incredible. The most famous tomb art I've ever seen is in this one, including the astronomical dome, uh -huh. all the astronomy of the Egyptians. But the really famous picture of I, I, I don't know who it is, like the pharaoh and one of the gods. Very famous. You see it everywhere. That was it. Right down that little, you know, uh, walkway. Uh-huh. Yep. So I'm having a great time. Good. Thanks for Brian. Oh, my pleasure. As we continue on our journey. Gorby has been with us. He's with us in Egypt. He was with us before in Peru and Bolivia. And I always meet up with him once a year at uh, Contact in the Desert, which is coming up the, the end of um, May, early June. So we're just having a little walk around the Valley of the Kings. Most of the tombs are sealed off. Only a limited number of them are open to the general public. But I was able to do uh, filming inside two of them, so that'll be for upcoming YouTube videos on my channel. Once again, you can see that the material itself, the limestone, <coughs> is uh, lots and lots of thin layers, and when you, you hit it with a, a tool of any kind, it shatters, so how they were able to get the interior of the tomb so smooth is a big question and the fact that they are in some cases several hundred feet deep into the bedrock I think it's highly likely that they were discovered during dynastic times and utilized as tombs but they were made by a very advanced technological civilization in the very distant past So once again, we're going to walk past Dr. Zahi Hawass, the ex-head of Supreme Council of Antiquities. He's right there in a blue shirt. It shows you the network of the different shafts located here. Once again, I guess I'll go past the uh, the one of Tut Ankh Amun. That's Ramses the Sixth there, which I filmed inside earlier. <coughs> so here is Tut Ankh Amun. This tomb is actually very small, but of course, because he's so famous, everybody wants to go inside. And the other one that we went into previously, uh, which I was able to film for an upcoming YouTube video, is this one, which is very extensive. So KV-8. Meren Pata, and you can see how extensive the tunnel network is for this one. So
So that's probably it for now. We're going to be moving on to the Ramesseum next. And then after that, we'll be at the... Uh, where are we after that? After that will be the Colossi of Memnon. So I'll try to go live in both of those locations. Ramses the Ninth. It shows you what the tunnel of Ramses the Ninth looks like. And now we're going to be heading back to the we're heading to the exit. This is the tomb of the sons of Ramses the Second. Sealed off. Mr. Hawass, yeah. I had my picture taken with him, <laughs> with a smirk on my face. I don't think I was smiling, but I don't, I don't know. I tried to put a smirk on my face and, and pointing a finger at him, so. Did you have one of these behind his head too? <laughs> Next time. Okay, so those are the buggies that we take to head back to the bus and go off to the Ramesseum, which is next.